In the vast expanse of the cosmos, few objects shine as brightly or hold as much mystery as quasars. These enigmatic entities captivate astronomers and astrophysicists alike, drawing them into a deeper understanding of the universe's most profound secrets. These celestial powerhouses, short for quasi-stellar radio sources, are among the most luminous and energetic objects known to science. Their brilliance is not just a spectacle, but a gateway to understanding the very fabric of the cosmos. Their discovery revolutionized our understanding of the universe and provided crucial insights into the nature of galaxies and the supermassive black holes that lurk at their centers. Before quasars were identified, the concept of supermassive black holes was largely theoretical. Quasars are incredibly distant objects, located billions of light years away from Earth. This vast distance means that when we observe quasars, we are looking back in time, seeing them as they were billions of years ago. This means that the light we observe from them has been traveling through space for billions of years, offering us a glimpse into the early universe. It's like peering through a time machine, revealing the conditions and events that shaped the cosmos in its infancy. Despite their incredible distances, quasars are so luminous that they can outshine entire galaxies, making them visible across vast cosmic distances. Their light pierces through the darkness of space, acting as beacons that guide our understanding of the universe's structure and evolution. The secret to their extraordinary power lies in the heart of these enigmatic objects, supermassive black holes. These black holes are not just massive, they are colossal, with masses that can be millions or even billions of times that of our sun. These gravitational behemoths, millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun, reside at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. The presence of such a massive object exerts a tremendous gravitational pull, influencing the motion of stars and gas in the galaxy. As matter falls into the intense gravitational pull of a supermassive black hole, it forms a swirling disk of gas and dust, known as an accretion disk. This process is not just a simple fall, it's a violent energetic event that generates immense heat and radiation. The material in the accretion disk heats up to extreme temperatures due to friction and gravitational forces releasing an enormous amount of energy across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to X-rays. This energy is what makes quasars so incredibly bright and detectable across vast distances. This energy release is what we observe as a quasar shining like a cosmic beacon from the distant universe. These beacons not only illuminate the darkness of space, but also light the path for our quest to understand the universe's origins and its ultimate fate. Quasars are defined by their extraordinary luminosity, outshining entire galaxies with their intense radiation. These celestial objects are among the brightest and most energetic phenomena in the universe, making them fascinating subjects of study for astronomers. This extraordinary energy output is a direct consequence of the processes occurring in the accretion disk surrounding the central supermassive black hole. The accretion disk is a swirling mass of gas and dust that is gradually being pulled into the black hole's immense gravitational field. As matter spirals inward toward the black hole, it is heated to millions of degrees Celsius, releasing vast amounts of energy across the electromagnetic spectrum. This energy spans from radio waves to X-rays, making quasars detectable across vast cosmic distances. This radiation is what we observe as a quasar, shining brightly across billions of light years. The light from these distant objects can take billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the early universe. Another defining characteristic of quasars is their location in young, active galaxies. These galaxies are often in the throes of rapid development with dynamic processes shaping their structure and behavior. These galaxies are undergoing intense periods of star formation and are often found in crowded environments such as galaxy clusters. The interactions within these clusters can trigger the activity that fuels quasars. The presence of quasars in these active galaxies suggests a close connection between the evolution of galaxies and the growth of supermassive black holes. This relationship is a key area of research, as understanding it can reveal much about the life cycles of galaxies. The intense radiation emitted by quasars can have a profound impact on their host galaxies, influencing star formation and shaping the surrounding interstellar media. This radiation can both trigger and suppress star formation, depending on the conditions. 
By studying quasars, astronomers can gain valuable insights into the processes that drive galaxy evolution and the role of supermassive black holes in this cosmic dance. These studies help us understand the complex interplay between these massive objects and their environments, shedding light on the history and future of our universe. Section 4. Expert Opinions Echoes from the Early Universe the discovery of quasars revolutionized our understanding of the universe, providing crucial insights into the nature of galaxies and the supermassive black holes that lurk at their centers. Leading astronomers and astrophysicists have hailed quasars as cosmic lighthouses and windows to the early universe, emphasizing their significance in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Quasars are among the most distant and luminous objects in the universe. They are powered by supermassive black holes that are actively accreting matter, releasing tremendous amounts of energy in the process. Dr. Natarajan's research focuses on the formation and evolution of supermassive black holes, and she believes that quasars hold the key to understanding these enigmatic objects. By studying quasars, we can learn about the growth of supermassive black holes over cosmic time and their impact on the evolution of galaxies. Quasars are like cosmic lighthouses, shining brightly from the distant universe. They allow us to probe the early universe and study the conditions that existed billions of years ago. Section 5. Energy Production. The accretion disk and relativistic jets. The immense energy output of quasars originates from the accretion disk, a swirling disk of gas and dust that forms around the central supermassive black hole. This disk is a dynamic and chaotic environment where matter is constantly being pulled in by the black hole's immense gravitational force. As matter falls inward toward the black hole, it is accelerated to incredible speeds, reaching a significant fraction of the speed of light. This acceleration process is not only fascinating, but also crucial for understanding the extreme conditions near a black hole. This rapid motion generates intense friction and collisions between particles in the accretion disk heating the material to millions of degrees Celsius. The heat produced is so immense that it can outshine entire galaxies, making quasars some of the brightest objects in the universe. At these extreme temperatures, the matter emits vast amounts of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to X-rays. This radiation provides astronomers with valuable information about the physical conditions and processes occurring in the vicinity of the black hole. In addition to the radiation emitted by the accretion disk itself, quasars can also produce powerful jets of relativistic particles that blast out from the poles of the black hole. These jets are among the most energetic phenomena in the universe. These jets are thought to be generated by the interaction of the black hole's spin and the magnetic fields threading through the accretion disk. The exact mechanism is still a topic of active research, but it is believed that the rotational energy of the black hole is converted into the kinetic energy of the jets. As material spirals inward toward the black hole, it can be channeled along these magnetic field lines, accelerating to near light speeds and forming collimated jets that shoot out from the poles. This process is highly efficient, allowing the jets to carry away a significant amount of energy. These jets can extend for millions of light years interacting with the surrounding interstellar medium and influencing the evolution of the host galaxy. The impact of these jets can be profound, affecting star formation rates and the distribution of matter within the galaxy.